Howdy folks, Kirk and Jason here with Kirk Giordano Plastering. Today, I want to show you how to blend this in, to transition a little bit tighter. This is pretty tight, but he doesn't like the fact that it's sandy, and this isn't sandy. This was sandy, but they've trialed it after they put the finish on, and then they've got about 10 or 15 coats of paint, maybe 20. It's an 80-year-old house. This is part of another video I did. I'll put both in the description so you can get a better understanding of what I'm talking about. Okay, first of all, if you're going to go over something like sand, you've got to buy a material that has no sand or like talcum powder, smooth sand. I mean, it's got to be, it can't have this grit. And what I'm doing is I'm putting an acrylic over it. See this big crack? Well, it's not so big. It's just a hairline crack. They're normal guys. Um, the material I'm about to spread out over this is an acrylic, which means it sticks to everything. Here's about the biggest tip I can show you guys. If you're going to apply an acrylic, wet everything. Why wet everything? Because one drop from this acrylic, and guess what? You can't get it up because it's an acrylic. It sticks to everything. I'll show you something, guys. Just, just a quick tip, and I'll explain the material. Okay. Transition. It shows. He says, man, I don't like that transition. I thought, that's a pretty good transition. Anyway, here's what we do. Now, this, again, this, this material is an acrylic. And for your knowledge, guys, it's called image. Image. Why it's got a French name. I don't know. So, image. That's what you do. Okay. Now, because, because it has so little fine, fine silica sand in here, you can go ahead and get the transition so well where even that silica sand, or this, this is a, a a 30-30, a that's Santa Barbara. It's a 30-30, and then they make 20-30, which is medium. So here's what you do, guys, if you have a situation like this, and you're unhappy with it. You go to your nearest material yard, say West Side, um, Cowfly, uh, Sacramento Stucco, and you say, give me a bucket of Image. That's not such a tough name. Try Kirk Pierre Giordano. Now that's even tougher. Anyhow, this is just a quick tip, guys, because he thought it was a big deal. I said, man, I'll tell you what, because I'm doing some other stuff for you, I'll fix that at no charge because I'm already here. So this is how you do it, guys. The transition, give a little bit more. Okay. Now, if I left this too smooth, you can see this has bumps, craters. So I'm going to just close my eyes and go over this. Okay, I'm going to look. You just go over it and give it a little bit of, you know, get rid of the sand. That's the idea. Get rid of the sand grit. But on the sides here, now you want to put your blade half here and half here. That gets rid of the transition, guys. The transition. And when this dries, it won't crack either. Anyway, I'm going to take just that little piece there who wants to watch me climb the ladder and do that and talk about a whole bunch of useless stuff that don't amount to nothing. Nobody does. Anyway, my name is Kirk. Jason is on the camera. We thank you guys for watching, and as usual, we'll see you guys on the next one. Hi, everybody. We reached the end of another video, which means I get to do the fun part. I get to say thank you all for watching. If you like what we do, please like and subscribe so we can keep making content for you. And as always, if you're looking to purchase any of the tools or materials you see us use in these videos, you can usually find those at your local plastering yard. Or if you'd like to help support us in the process, you can buy them from our website, our Amazon affiliate links, and we'll make a little dough in the process there. More importantly, I get to introduce all you fine folks to the newest member of the Giordano Plastering Clan. This is my lovely baby Avery, and of course my beautiful partner Sarah. And as you can see, we've already picked out Avery's first trowel, so when they get a little older, they can come to the job site and learn from their dad and my dad, the plaster master, just like I got to. <laughs> as usual, we thank all you folks for watching, and we will see you on the next one. Bye!